Uh, just to set it up, but we don't ever know what's going to happen after that. I may snatch ideas. <laughs> snatch. Thank you for calling Amazon. Can this everybody hear okay? Recorded for quality assurance. Tell me briefly why you're calling. You can say things like, I don't have my package, my Kindle book Belly. purchase, or my Amazon video. I need help immediately. shortly we're gonna do two prank calls jay don't worry we'll do grandpa pool next after this one yeah norm what happened to that Uh, yeah, my you can call me Jeff. Listen, what did you say your name was? Alex. Alex, listen. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad that you answered so quickly. I'm on a little bit of a time. I'm trying to budget my time here uh, as best as I can. Uh, what I need from you, I'm not in an area right now where I can actually look on Amazon for a specific product, and I need you to uh, to help me find it. Are you up to the task? Yes. Okay. Good. Thank God. Okay, listen. I, I don't know if you guys have a photonic laser recycler. That's P H O T O N I C L A S E R R E C Y C L E R. Photonic laser recycler. I don't know. I'm finding out right now. I'm finding out right now. I don't know. I'll ask him. I'll ask him in a second. Recycler. Yes, a photonic laser recycler. Let me check that. Okay. Whew. Can I ask a quick question? Sure, you can. I, this, this is going to sound a little strange, but I just need you to answer me as honestly. I just need an honest yeah, answer. I'm trying. What year is this? I cannot find any item here. Uh, listen, I need to know what year are we in right now? What year is this? Because I'm asking you, I just need to know what year it is. What year are we currently living in right now? Okay, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, Alex. If you can handle the information that I'm about to tell you, okay? I am a, I am a chrononaut. Do you know what that is? No. I'm a time traveler from the future, Alex. I'm a time traveler from the future. And this timeline is in trouble, okay? I'm trying to fix it before we can't fix it any longer. I had to come back to a specific time in order to prevent an activity from happening. Do you understand the butterfly effect? Like what happens? Like if a butterfly on the other side of the world flaps its wings, it could cause a tsunami in fucking Mexico, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. I've traveled back in time from the year 3030. And I'm here to try to stop something very bad from happening because this timeline is in serious trouble, Alex. So what year is it right now? Because I'm not sure that I've come back to the correct time. 2019. Shit. He said it's 2019. Okay, Alex, listen. We've come back too far. 
you guys have the photonic laser recycler in 2021. In 2019, you guys aren't going to have it. So we're going to have to think about something else here. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, shit. Alex, what country are you in? Wait, are you in the Philippines, Alex? Yes, I am. Oh, my God. Alex, listen. When we're done with this conversation, you have to promise me that you'll move from the Philippines within the next five years. Promise me that. The whole goddamn thing's gonna sink to the bottom of the ocean, Alex. There's gonna be a tsunami. There's 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 a there's a monster tsunami that's gonna hit in five years. Okay, it's gonna wipe everything out. There's gonna be a lot of changes coming up in the next couple of years, Alex. Global warming is taking effect. The ice caps are melting for this timeline. In my timeline in 3030, the ice caps have completely melted. We're living on floating cities, Alex. Floating cities that we've made out of trash. Listen, my my name's not really Fred. My name's Eobard. Eobard. And I'm a time traveler from 3030, what they call a chrononaut in my time. But just promise me that you promise me that you'll be out of the Philippines in five years, Alex. Promise me that. I hope I can, but I'll try my best. You better try, or you're gonna be swimming with the fishes, as they say. Okay, because really bad things are gonna happen. Uh, my my best thing to tell you, the best place for you to go would be uh, probably Switzerland, because after North Korea fires the nukes in 2025, everything starts going downhill for a lot of different places. Okay. Uh, Thank you so much for that. No problem. I'm just trying to save lives, Alex. That's all we're trying to do in the future is try to save lives. Um, now listen, you. you're welcome. Now we've got to try to think about another uh, solution here because I can't stop the thing that's going to happen. Uh, without a photonic laser recycler. So let, let's let me think. Do you guys just have? Uh, okay. Do you have cattle prods? Are those still legal for use in this time? I'm sorry. What is the item? It's a cattle prod. They used to use it to uh, to stun cattle. Here we have. Uh, let me double check. Rod. Yeah, cattle prod. P R O D. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah, we have a lot of cattle brands on our website. Oh, thank God, thank God. Because I know that at one point, or I, I just can't. I'm a little hazy on my history, especially stuff that happened over a thousand years ago. But I knew that at some point or another, cattle prods become illegal. So I'm glad that they're still legal. I, if I, I'll, I'll get, I'll get a couple of those. Those will help uh, for parts. Now listen, li- hold on. I think, I think we're breaking up. Hold on. I, what, what, did, what did you say, Alex? From what year are you? I'm from the year 3030. Time travel. Listen, time travel is already available in your time, but it's only available to the elite. Only the most elite politicians are using time travel right now in your timeline uh but by the time 3030 rolls around everybody's using it Uh, it's like it's like a it's like going to a fucking amusement park yeah but but you have to get out of the philippines alex because i'm telling you horrible things i i've watched the movies on it it's bad it's bad uh sure try my best to get out of here yeah okay Definitely try to do that. Okay, listen, uh, I've got I've got a mission to complete, Alex, and I want you to know that you could have been integral in saving the world, Alex. And if that is the case, I will put you on a monument uh, back in my time, Alex, for helping me. You are going to be like the hero uh, customer service guy from Amazon that helped save the world. And we're all going to idolize you, man, and I, and we appreciate you. Uh, our greeting in the future and our goodbye are both the same word, and that's hoggy doggy. And I just want to tell you again, hoggy doggy, Alex, and thank you for helping us save the world. Okay, thank you for that. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Have a good day. All right. Bye.
Okay. Uh, what if you just change Alex's life? Like, if he moves from the Philippines in three years and meets a princess or something and has like eight puppies. <laughs> what the hoagie doggie? I think Amazon should pay you for advertising. They should. They should. Okay, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. Hold on, it's because Jay wanted Grandpa Pool, and I saw something about zombies in the comments. Let's mix it up. Let's go Grandpa Pool with zombies. <laughs> Let's do that. <clears throat> Get my voice ready for Grandpa Pool. <clears throat> Thank you for calling Amazon. This call could be recorded for quality assurance. Tell me briefly why you're calling. You can say things like, I don't have my package, my Kindle book like version, oh. or my Amazon video. I don't know why these people are trying to get in my house. Thank you for holding. We'll be with you as soon as possible. Note that answers to common questions may be found on the help pages of our retail website, and you may always email. Thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. My name is Marissa. May I have your name, please? I'm sorry. I, what did you say your name was? Marissa. Marissa, this is John. Hi. Okay. Hi, John. How are you? I'm good. I just I uh, got a question, and I uh, uh -huh. I gotta tell you first of all that I don't normally make the calls in this household. I'm I'm 87 years old, and my wife usually makes the calls in here, but I was uh, going to make myself a turkey sandwich and I looked outside and there's something going on out there. Okay. I just looks like a bunch of people out here trying to get in my house. We live out here in the countryside and there's all these they don't look too good. Did you call 911? I tried, but the, the local 911 isn't answering. And they came on the TV and they said something about the, something about the dead coming to life. I don't know. I think it was a TV show. The Walking Dead? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're dead or not. They look dead. They got. They're trying to get in here. Okay, you gotta call nine one one. This is Amazon. I know. I'm trying to find out if there's anything I can use to take them down. You can, but it wouldn't get there quick enough if they're trying to come in right now. They're slow. They don't look like they got. This one's over here on my window. He hasn't even broken through the window. I'm looking right at him. You can purchase a Lucille bat like on the Walk of Dead. They have those on Amazon. What is that? It's the bat that Deegan uses to kill zombies. I'll take five of them. I don't know what okay, it is, but to... if it's going to get rid of these, I don't know what these are, but they... They look like they're just their people trying to come in here. They're scratching on the diagon windows. I get out of there. I said get out of there. Every time they look at me, they get all excited. I don't know what's going on. I look for my wife. I don't know where she is. Okay. Well, you can't, I can't help you purchase them. I can, you got to purchase them on the internet. Well, how long is that going to take? They're going to, they're going to get in here. I'm not sure, sir. It, you have to place your order first. It might take a few days. It might take overnight. It might take a week. You have to place the order. 
Ethel, uh, here comes my wife. My wife. Ethel. Ethel. Ethel, what are you? Ethel, what's the matter with you? Ethel, get your hands off me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't keep doing it. I was just I was just picturing it too hard. Oh, that got real. That got real really quick. I wonder if she's okay. I hope she's all, all right. <laughs> <laughs> she's scared for her life. She's definitely a Walking Dead fan. Yeah, what the fuck? You could purchase a fucking Negan bat? 